and people really seem to enjoy it. Like, I just feel so lucky that I've found something where not only do I enjoy doing it, but then it also seems to make other people happy. And I think it's a rare thing. Take a look at these drawings behind me. It's a story of something beautiful coming from a dark time and a life lesson that it's never too late to find a new passion. Meet Rebecca LaFleur, a Baylor journalism grad who turns the sidewalks of Chicago now into a work of art. If you're ever in Chi Town, you might see these bright, joyful characters chalked on the sidewalk. People know me as the chalk lady. Rebecca LaFleur was shut in with her daughter during the pandemic, and the idea was born. And I was just trying to find like an activity to help us get outside. They started chalking and the art took on a life of its own. It just caught on. People, I think it was a dark time and people just really enjoyed stumbling upon this like very bright, colorful, happy chalk art. And so I just started making chalk drawings um, all over, like at bus stops, at libraries, um, parks. It's something so beautiful and joyful even more amazing, she brings these characters to life with her right hand, a hand that has no fingers. You could see, you know, what it looks like there, but it, it was on my right hand and I'm right handed. Rebecca was in a terrible car accident while at Baylor. My um, window was down and so my hand flew out of the window and my fingers were amputated in the crash. It was a dark time for her. She wore a prosthetic and wondered if she'd ever be able to write again. But not only can she write, she can draw these unbelievable cartoon characters that greet the people of Chicago. I can show you like with my, um, you know, I'm still able to grip a bit with what's left of my thumb. And so I grip the chalk like this. And, and then I also do a lot of blending. So I'll blend usually with my left hand. It's an experience that has taught her not to be intimidated and to just go for it. Just, I just like stumbled upon this thing randomly in my mid thirties and now I can't imagine my life without it. A bright ending to a very dark beginning. And if you're interested in her drawing, she has them on Instagram at chalkofthetown312. Great story. Yeah.